If you used your own car in the performance of your work, then you may be entitled to a claim for expenses. Most people associate such a claim as only being available to taxpayers who received a travel allowance from their employer, but even taxpayers who have no employer are self-employed and do not get a travel allowance may be entitled to a claim for allowable motoring expenses. If a taxpayer receives a travel allowance from their employer, then the taxpayer has a choice of using one of two methods to lodge a claim. The taxpayer can either use the cents per kilometre tables based on the car value, or the taxpayer can claim a portion of actual motoring expenses as per record of expenses kept. If you do not receive a travel allowance from an employer and wish to claim for motoring expenses, then you have to claim your expenses for fuel, oil, maintenance, etc. using a record of actual expenses. You cannot claim both cents per kilometre as well as expenses. Whatever option you use to claim, no claims will be considered if you do not have a logbook detailing private and business mileage details. For taxpayers who did receive a travel allowance and have a choice of how to claim, by far the most common method of claiming a deduction against travel allowance received is by using SARS's cents per kilometre tables. This is the set of tables issued in the budget of February 2018 for the tax year ending February 2019. The table shows the fixed costs and cents per kilometres that may be used for fuel and maintenance to determine the claim for business distance for cars of different values. Let's talk about the three codes which may appear on an IRP file for travel allowance paid. The three codes are 3701, 3702 and 3703. Code 3701 is the most commonly used code for a car allowance paid by an employer to an employee for the employee using his own car for business purposes. This allowance is taxable and 80% of the allowance is taxed by the employer at salary source. 20% may be used but the employer must be convinced that the employee is using the car virtually entirely for business. Although only 80% of the travel allowance is taxed at salary source, 100% of the allowance must appear on the IRP5 and this 100% of the allowance will be added to income on the assessment. In most cases, the taxpayer's claim on the assessment for the portion of business distance done will reduce the effect of the allowance paid. It will also ensure the taxpayer only pays tax on the part of the allowance attributed to private mileage done. Code 3702 is a reimbursive travel allowance which is taxable. The taxpayer was reimbursed by the employer for travel expenses incurred. It is pretty similar to Code 3701 in that the Code 3702 amount is taxable and the taxpayer can claim travel expenses incurred. Code 3703 is a reimbursive travel allowance paid to an employee in pursuit of business where the reimbursement works out to less than 3 Rand 61 per kilometre. Note that the 12,000 kilometre limit has been scrapped in 2019. The reimbursement amount is non-taxable up to 3 Rand 61 per kilometre and you cannot claim against it if the reimbursement amount is 3 Rand 61 per kilometre or less.